Hello friends, this video on environment chemistry part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's understand stratospheric pollution. We have till now we have learned only tropospheric pollution. Let's understand stratospheric and why do we need ozone layer? The first question is why do we need ozone layer? First, what is ozone? Ozone is this three oxygen molecules with the resonance here. This is my ozone. This is also structure of ozone. And this protects Earth from harmful UV rays of the sun. There is sun, UV rays. So this ozone, there is an ozone layer here. And this is only the stratosphere. This ozone layer is in the stratosphere. This ozone layer protects us from the UV rays from the sun. Everything is reflected back. UV rays, correct? So this is the importance of ozone layer. As I told, ozone is not good in this troposphere layer, but it is very important in the stratosphere layer. Because this UV rays cause skin cancer. So we'll understand the formation of ozone. Right? So ozone is a product of UV radiations on oxygen molecules. So there is a dynamic equilibrium actually. Oxygen breaks into two oxygen molecules and these oxygen molecule, uh, oxygen free radical react with oxygen to form ozone. And there is a dynamic equilibrium here, right? So this keeps happening from left to right. So we will see the UV radiation will split apart this oxygen to two free radicals and they will combine to form ozone and this will be in, this is, this, this is unstable. Right, so there will be equilibrium. Right? Thus, if you see, the equilibrium symbol is there. Now we will talk about ozone depletion. You must have heard of this term ozone layer depletion. A lot of places. This is caused generally because it's believed to be caused because of CFC chlorofluorocarbon, also known as phenols. And what is the source of chlorofluorocarbon? Is all this air conditioners, fridge the sponge, the cleaners for uh, computers, laptops, all these are has CFC because they are non-inflammable, non-reactive, non-toxic organic molecule. And that's why they are used in all this electronic or electrical gadgets. But still, they cause ozone layer depletion. Let's understand how they cause, right? So, once the CFC chlorofluorocarbon is released in the atmosphere, they mix with the normal atmospheric gas and eventually reach stratosphere. And there they are broken down by UV radiation. Let's see this. This is my earth. Correct. And I have all these fridges and the air conditioners used in the earth. And this is my sun. Correct. So what happens is these are my CFC gases. Correct. These are my CFC gases emitted from all these refrigerators. So what happens is here, because of the sun, sun will emit UV rays. In the presence of UV rays, what happens is this is my chlorofluorocarbon. In the presence of UV rays, it breaks into CF2, Cl, free radical and Cl3 radical. This is called chain initiation step because from a stable molecule I'm getting two free radicals. And then I have chain propagation step that happens. For example, I have chlorine, free radical, it reacts with ozone, because I have some all these ozones here actually, right? I have a lot of ozones here. Right? This whole boundary is ozone. This protects Earth from UV rays. So this see this will react with ozone. It will form ClO dot and oxygen, right? Because this is chain propagation step. Because one free radical, it gives one free radical here, and this guy will again react with O to give oxygen and ClO. Then you see this again. This Cl dot will be again used here. So one Cl radical. Once I got one free Cl radical. It destroyed one ozone again 
it destroyed another ozone again destroyed another ozone so if you see one cl free radical can destroy millions of ozone molecules see one free radical if you have got of chlorine destroyed one ozone it got clo free radical again that clo free radical reacted with oxygen here again it created one more cl free radical again it destroyed one ozone so this chain continued because these are my chain propagation step correct so more and more cl free radical is produced more ozone is destroyed and how come this cl free radical is produced because of cfc gas and it was first reported in 1980 antarctica over south pole correct this is what my ozone layer depletion is i have my cfc that gives me chlorine free radical please note cl free radical is my culprit here this guy easily eats up ozone it eats up ozone and again creates one more free radical so one cl free radical can eat up almost millions of ozone molecules right so there is some some pattern seen over antarctica because they they did some research in 19 It is. They found this ozone pool in Antarctica, and they did some research in Antarctica, and they found some funny thing about Antarctica. So let's study that. What they found, right? So in the old nineteen eighty, the scientist working in Antarctica, they reported ozone pool, and they found this funny thing. And they found that the change in size of the ozone hole based on seasons. So in summer season, what they saw in summer season. the nitrogen dioxide and the methane react with chlorine monoxide and chlorine atoms forming chlorine sinks so if you see the chlorine this guy was my culprit so in summer my methane and nitrogen oxide it act as sink for chlorine and if you see what you get is csc dot so chlorine dot is gone chlorine free radical is gone so in summer since there is no chlorine free radical or less chlorine free radical those are ozone depletion won't happen correct because for ozone depletion for consuming ozone you need chlorine free radical so in summer what is happening this chlorine free radical is reacting with methane and this clo free radical is reacting with no2 nitrogen oxide dioxide so nitrogen dioxide and methane is acting as sink for chlorine free radical and clo free radical so with this it prevents ozone depletion this is summer in winter what happens is whatever i have got here is this guy clo no2 you see i'll put this in this kind of style so that you understand this is same as what we are talking about so this guy react with water or sulfuric acid to give hcl and cl and nitric oxide This thing happens in winter. So winter is also calm, but when the spring comes, so whatever I've got here, HCl and this guy Cl2, these guys again then react with my sunlight and gets Cl3 radical, Cl3 radical. And once I have Cl3 radical, my again the ozone depletion starts. So in spring they have maximum ozone depletion. This is what they've observed, right? In summer, my methane and nitrogen oxide dioxide they act as sink for chlorine free radical so there is not much ozone depletion winter this is almost calm situation but we get hcl and cl2 gas formation which is again used in summer to form chlorine free radical which is again causing or which cause ozone depletion so let's understand the effect of ozone layer depletion see With the depletion of ozone layer, more and more UV rays will come inside. So this, this since there was ozone layer here, right? It it used to flip back, but there's a weak ozone layer. UV rays can easily penetrate through and reach Earth's surface. Correct. Now these UV rays can lead to aging of the skin, sunburn, skin cancer. They it will kill the aquatic animals and plants it will damage the fish productivity it will cause cataract all this it will cause very very harmful 
UV rays are very very harmful. Also, the plant proteins easily get impacted by UV rays. Easily get impacted by UV rays, and with this, it leads to harmful mutations of the cells, multiplies. It's very harmful for them. Also, with more UV rays, the more evaporation of the earth surface, right? So these more water gets evaporated, the moisture content of the soil decreases. The moisture decrease of the the moisture content of the soil then decreases. Right? Because more evaporation will happen, so the moisture content decreases. Also, because of more UV rays, the paints will fade easily. The paints will fade easily. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.